Hey guys, I wanted to try a heatless satin roller set to see how it stacked up against my flexi rods and curl formers. Here's what I did and what I thought. I first split my hair into two sections so I could work one section at a time. Grabbing the first section, split that in half as well. I'm starting with the bottom half, so clip the top half out of the way. Now working bottom to top, I'm grabbing small sections to roll. Sponge rollers should really be used on dry, straight hair, but since my hair isn't straight, I need a bit of water to help seal the curl. So I spritz lightly with my mix of water and aloe vera juice. To help set the style, I'll be using my homemade flaxseed gel. I boiled it to be nice and thin for a softer hold. So just grab a bit and massage it into the hair. Remember, we don't want soaking wet hair. Now that the hair is pliable, I finger detangle to get rid of knots. And I finish off with a bit of shea butter from my homemade mix to help seal the hair and lock in the moisture. Now I rarely use a comb, but for roller set styles, I need to make sure every single tangle is out. So with my wide tooth comb, I gently comb my hair out from bottom to top. This should be easy since we just finger detangled. Okay, time to grab your satin line sponge roller and start rolling from ends to root. And that's it. Now grab another small section and repeat the same process. Lightly spritz with your water and aloe vera mix. Work that in, then follow up with a bit of flaxseed gel. Finger detangle the hair. Massage on a bit of shea butter or your favorite sealing product. And gently comb the hair out with a wide tooth comb. When it's all nice and detangled, grab a satin roller and roll the hair up. Now continue this process for the entire head, grabbing small sections at a time. Now sponge rollers are really made to be used with dry straight hair, but since I don't blow dry or flat iron, I really wanted to see how they would stack up against my heatless curl former sets and flexi rod sets. So the first side is complete, I'm just leaving the bang area for last. Once you finish the first side, move on to the other. And we're done! That was easy. So just finish up by curling the front bang area, and now we're done. Really not the sexiest look in the book, but hey. Follow up with your satin scarf or bonnet and head to bed. It's the next morning and before I get dressed or put on my makeup, I'm gonna remove the rollers to see what I've got. So I just unravel one at a time. A couple of the curls didn't dry fully even though I only used a small amount of moisture But all in all it turned out okay The curls are definitely not as defined as when I use the curl formers and the roots not as straight, but not bad So I'm flattening out each curl at the roots and I'm pulling it into a low bun to help stretch the hair while I prepare for the day So wrap it into a low bun and go get dressed. Okay, I'm dressed, my makeup's on, and I had breakfast. Now I gotta get out the house. So taking the hair out of the bun, it's nice and stretched now. 
If you want to leave the bun in for the entire day, that'll definitely help stretch it to the max. But I'm taking mine out and I'm going to separate each curl for more volume. Now we've got big voluminous hair. I like the carefree curl look, but I'm not really fond of these sections that didn't dry completely. All in all, I like how it came out. I'm always game for big voluminous hair, but I don't think the satin roller set on wet hair is a better method than the curl former set. It just doesn't dry evenly or as smoothly and takes three times as long to install. Again, not a bad look, but there's definitely an easier way to get it. Sorry, curl formers for the win on this one, but I'll definitely try them again on dry straight hair. So I hope this helps guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Click here to check out the latest from my second channel.